Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Bruin Bitter. Your Bruins had quite the crazy week this past week, having two meets in three days. We traveled to Stanford on Sunday, having a solid meet with quite a few tens. Hey. <laughs> She was two of them. <laughs> I was two out of the three. But then, <laughs> after those, that crazy meet, we headed home and had our senior night in Polly Pavilion. Shedding many tears. Shedding Very, many tears. Yes. But before we get to the tears, roll the tape. So when your Bruins went to Stanford, we started on bars, and Pang and Kyla had some rocking routines, both scoring 10.0. Then on the balance beam event, Pang just wanted to throw in another 10 in there for the team. So <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thank you, thanks Jay. But that wasn't the only great thing. Your Bruins scored a 197.8, closing out Stanford on a great note. So just a day and a half later, the Bruins ended up in Poly Pavilion. So we started off on vault, and that has been the greatest rotation we have had in 14 years because we stuck six for six vaults, closing off with Napulani Hall with a 9.975. It was so nice to see Pua stick her last vault in Poly Pavilion. There was so much emotions. It got to all of us. And then the Bruins were off to bars, and both Caitlin and Kyla scored 9.95s. And then your Bruins moved over to the Balance Beam event where Peng Peng Lee closed out her final performance in Poly Pavilion with a 9.95. The emotions really came in there. Oh my goodness. Ugly cry. <laughs> it was an ugly cry. <laughs> Not an ugly cry. I saw it. <laughs> oh my God. We lifted her up. Oh, yeah. It was a great time. It was very nice. And your Bruins moved to the floor exercise with Kate closing out with a 10.0. So something really cool happened on floor. I don't know if any of you picked it up. Almost the whole floor lineup threw in some peace signs in there. And so I do peace signs on beam. So it was really cool that people threw in the peace signs at the end. And hopefully, maybe we'll continue it. I don't know. And a fun fact about this senior meet is that all the seniors scored 9.9s and above. That's insane. That's just a way, you know, we wanted to make and a last impression, you know. Sonia, you've been sitting here for the last <laughs> couple of minutes when we forgot to introduce you. You were just so quiet there. Sonia, Hi. welcome to the show. Hi, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> you were so calm throughout the meet. I looked at Sonia and Sonia put me at ease, but how did you, was it, overwhelming with emotions during the meet or was it, did it come after the meet? You realize it was your last time in Polly. I think it came after the meet. In the, during the meet, I was like really dialed in and focused and I was just like calm and ready and just ready to go. And then after the meet, that's when it was like, oh, this is my last time in Polly. <laughs> and then it hit me a few days later too. And I was oh, like, oh. yeah, I was like, why I'm never going to be in Polly again. So. I feel yeah. like that's a big concept that we all needed to grasp. Yeah. Oh, it just really hit home. And, and it wasn't like a slow hit. It was kind of like, oh, shoot, I'm not going to be in Polly again. And then just tears. Sonia, throughout the four years you have been here, what year do you think you have grown the most? Like freshman year, we all know that's a transition. But which year do you think is really like blossomed? This last year, um, I've struggled a lot, which you guys all know of during the gym. And I feel like that has been my biggest growing moment where I've learned to like forget about all the other stuff and kind of just learn to be me and you really kicked it into gear <laughs> yes, too because yes. girl you are in that bar lineup and you really showed out with that nine nine yeah her takachev is beautiful i'm so happy you put that back Thanks. i'm change. happy Hi, yo wait, tell, tell us about your bar change oh yes okay so before i was doing a ray and then i was connecting that into a bail but i was having some issues with my ray and so me and chris decided like oh let's go back to the takachev because that was super easy when i did it mm -hmm. freshman and sophomore year so threw it back in and now i'm fine that takachev is huge i feel so like that was a lot of the reason of your stress with Two. a lot of my stress. Yeah, I remember <laughs> one day Pan came up to me and she was like, oh, you seem like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Yeah. And I was like, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> what part of your personality do you think has become more clear to you since you said that you have noticed the change your fourth year? I think I've learned to be more outgoing. I definitely feel closer with a lot of my teammates. Oh. And... <laughs> <laughs> so I think that part of me has definitely grown where I love hanging out with people and being with them and just like asserting myself a little bit more. So Aww, 
That's yeah. good, son. Thanks. We also all love watching Game of Thrones, yes. so I think yes. that's where we really truly love bonded, that. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is an important question that we have to ask you because mm -hmm. I don't know how you do it every week, but you are the person who gets thrown into lineup last minute, doesn't know they're going to be in, doesn't know if they're warming up or not, but then every time you go, you're just such you're such a strong competitor. Yeah, how do you do it? <laughs> and, and you like to plan too, right? Oh, yeah. I love to plan. <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that I'm not able to plan this has just really just gets to me, but like I've learned to just always be ready. Like the plan is always be ready. So okay, then if she throws really me in, then I'm ready. So that that's the plan. Just be ready. <laughs> that's a Ooh, solid plan because that's, if that's wisdom <laughs> right there. Because <laughs> it's hard to be thrown in in the last minute. I feel like we, I feel like we maybe all have been in the situation mm -hmm. where it's like it's not even the warm up. It's the one minute touch, and there's maybe yep. two minutes, and it's like, hey, you're in, and you're like, it's always oh it's God, always a, a snap too. Clothes. You're in. <laughs> hey, you're in. Hey, you're, you're I have your sweats on. I'll never forget. Was this at Nebraska? Yes. And she, oh, Sonia, she was like putting on her sweats. I had my clothes <laughs> all on. <laughs> Sonia, you're you're going on vault. What? <laughs> hey, you did a great vault. Maybe that's what you should do from now. Just put on sweats. Yeah, Chill. Maybe sit in the chair. Have a latte. Yeah, have a latte. <laughs> Go grab some coffee. Yeah. She is a biochem major, which is. Already hard itself, but she's at UCLA, so I can just imagine how much harder it is. And she's planning to be a doctor, Dr. Mraz. And I actually don't know this, the answer to this question. What field are you planning to go in for Dr. Mraz? <laughs> It'll be a new TV show. <laughs> Um, so I have three options of what I want to do. So I either want to be a pediatrician, a surgeon, or a geneticist. What is a one. geneticist? <laughs> We're like, a geneticist. So I took LS4, which is a genetics class, and I did really, really well, and I really, really liked it. So I was oh. like, oh, maybe I can do this. Genetics is the study of genes, and pretty much you look at different families and the, all the different traits, and then you can see how different cool. diseases are passed down. Wait, that's really, really cool. I'm interested yeah. in that, too. Maybe yeah. you can teach me some things. I got you, I girl. Love learning about backgrounds and stuff. I got yeah. you. I got you. Got me. She's got me, guys. <laughs> are you leaning towards one, or is it like, are they all even playing field? I think right now, surgeon and genetics is up here, and then pediatrician's like down here. So kind of between those two. Oh. I like the surgeon idea, because like then too. you can help me when I'm old. <laughs> I would, like I'm now, gonna, I'm gonna hit up Dr. Mraz when I need yeah. surgery on whatever. Sonia, like, help know. me! Help me! My elbow hurts. I've fallen and I can't get up. So okay. on top of her being a biochem major, she wants to be a doctor. She's a gymnast. You know, we have all these things on our plate. She also tutors. Like this the is athletes. her job. She tutors the student athletes. And Not all yeah. heroes wear capes. <laughs> <laughs> They're called Mrazicals. <laughs> How did you get into tutoring? If you guys remember Danusha, she mm -hmm. was a tutor, and so I remember I saw her doing it, and I was like, oh, that's so cool, and so she was telling me about it, and then I think maybe a quarter later, they sent me an email, they're like, oh, do you want to be a PLF tutor? And I was like, yeah, and then I <laughs> applied for the job, so, and I got it. Do you like it? Yeah, I really like it. So I get to teach um, all, and like meet different people and different mm -hmm. athletes and different sports, so I really like that aspect of it. All right, now it's time for your favorite part of Bruin Banter, Twitter questions. <laughs> <laughs> this one is from BunnyFlips99. Mm, Bunny You've always been an unsung hero of the team, but how has your role changed throughout your four years here? I think my leadership has grown a little bit. I think my leadership role is I lead by example. So I try to like do all my work in the gym and then out to the gym, I try to do all my homework and get things done so I'm on top of it. So I don't think I'm the most vocal person, but I do occasionally like to say something. And when she does, when she guys, does it's powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. I have a Twitter question, and it is from Deanna Hong. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever considered investing in tearaway pants? <laughs> um, you know what? I had it before until Nebraska, but I think now I need somewhere I can just rip them off. She and has then. to. That would and be hilarious. And then just get into the lineup and compete and warm up. You have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's a struggle taking off sweatpants. Yeah. Like, I may have to go buy you some like now. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. bye. Bruin banter's <laughs> over. <laughs> we got, we, we got to go. do some shopping. <laughs> Okay guys, so the Bruins are now in championship season, so we will be headed to Tucson, Arizona to compete at pac 12 And that'll be this Saturday, March 24th, and we will be competing in the late session at 6 p.m. So tune in. Thank you, Sonia, so much for coming on Bruin Banter. 
So now we gotta go get you some pants. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, pants. Okay, oh. pants times. Peace. <laughs>